Hi, it's Miss Polly again and my assistant. All right, today we're gonna look at science tools. We use science for collecting, tools for our collecting and analyzing information. Beakers, spring balances, hot plates, collecting nets, microscopes, compasses. Well, we have several examples of these here and we're just gonna take a brief tour, but always, always start with safety. Use gloves if you need them, goggles if you need them. So, microscopes for looking and observing deep into things and just a simple magnifying glass just for taking out in the garden. You need tools to collect specimens so that you can observe them. Let's move on to reactions. We can heat things for chemical reactions. We can use chemicals and show relationships. Electricity, this, this is a buzzer. You could hook it up and hook everything up and make the light come on. So electricity and circuits are fun. We certainly always record our data. So always have your little science book with you in your pocket as you go on your nature, your nature hunts. Magnetism, magnetism's fun. Look at this. <laughs> we use tools for taking things apart if we need to our machines or fixing our machines. Teeny tiny ones if we need them. And then we have this whole group of different ways to measure. Of course, length, liquid volume. How heavy is something? This is a really fun one. You hook something here and it measures it. Of course, we can time things, especially like back on our reactions, how long did it take for the heat to change whatever we were working on? Temperature, outside Fahrenheit, centigrade, and of course, weighing. We've got a very simple kind of balance here, and we have a more complicated balance for this one. And then, sometimes, we can use toys to test concepts, especially. Physics, sometimes, is a good one for bringing your toys out and making observations. What about float a boat in your bathtub and see how much weight you can put in it before it sinks. Displacement. Slinkies are fun. And what about setting up dominoes and making that reaction? So, it's been fun. I'll see you on the next video.